But here's a little bit of a problem. Those are solar panels, right? Sun's starting to come out early in the morning. It's gonna be a sunny day. A lot of people don't know how this works. Basically, the sun's gonna go through the snow a little bit and make you some production for sure. But, not as much. So I actually have a big telescoping broom. This is an example of just a big, huge bush push broom. I have a very soft broom over in the garage that is used uh, so it won't scratch. I don't ever use it on the ground or anything. And I always blow it off real good with the blower before I use it. Look at the great job this mower did. Just crushed this snow. But I want to show you how this works. It's one of these big telescoping painter handles. And it opens up. It's really cool. It's like super long. And I take this little guy here and I go up there and I'll show you how I do it. And I just kind of pull some of that snow off the panels. And then uh, rest end, the sun hits it and the rest ends up coming down. You can see here the sun's starting to come out now. So the problem with this is if you get the snow up there, it could freeze and it could stay up there for days and not melt. But if you just kind of take this guy right here and you just kind of pull, where's it at? There it is. Pull some of that off a little bit. The sun hits the panels, they warm up, and the rest just slides right off. Usually after about half hour, an hour, you could take a day where you might make five or 10 kilowatts and turn it into a day where you make 50 or 60. So it's totally worth taking a few minutes to do it. That handle up there, see that sun right there? I take my handle, just kinda pull back a little bit there. See how all that snow's coming off? And it's kinda hard to do it with one hand, I'm holding the camera, but basically, there you go. You just clear some of those panels off. I do it in the back here and I do it in the, uh, the front here and then in the back. It only takes about two, two or three minutes. And then as soon as that sun hits that, it'll start to warm it up, melt the rest off. And it'll be pretty awesome uh, production today. I can't get all of them. But again, once that sun comes out and it's supposed to come out pretty good today, it's gonna hit those. And then that portion up there at the top will actually slide right off. They usually slide right down, come right down here and land in the bushes and flower beds. But, oh yeah, we still got our little Christmas dachshund out. We gotta put those guys away. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's pretty effective. I mean, you could take a day like this where you might, it might be a lot of sun just going to waste. Just a few minutes it takes to do this. Like I said, instead of making five or 10, you're gonna make like 50. Not gonna make 70, like in the summer with the longer day, but Still pretty good. I'm gonna go around the back and do that one. Hit these with the brush, knock some of that off. Already got all the patio done here. Go in and warm up a little bit here. As you can see, the sun's starting to hit them already. It'll make a pretty significant difference over the next few days. And it really just takes a couple minutes to come out here and do it. We're out here, you know, doing the driveway and stuff anyway. I mean, there's no reason not to use the power of the sun. If you, uh, look at that, look at that bad boy just shining down. No reason not to use that power. We're actually gonna save hundreds of thousands of dollars if we end up staying here uh, for the rest of our lives. And these guys, you know, last 30, 40, 50 years, I mean, we will, we will be able to basically pay for our house uh, with the money we save not having an electric bill ever. Since it's fully electric, and since we use the wood burners, we have even lower costs. I mean, we have to buy the wood, but the reason we do the wood burners is because it's just so much hotter than it would ever be with the electric heat pumps. And as you can see, like I said, my neighbor's there, his is always chugging away, running constantly. It's freezing up, he's constantly having to have it fixed. Pretty much like everybody else is around here. So they either put in gas, then they have an electric bill and a gas bill, and we have neither. So, you know, other than buying the wood, again, only cost me between 1,000 and 1,500 a year, and our house is nice and toasty, way, way hotter than it would ever be using a furnace of any kind. So it's kind of cool. Okay, I just wanted to show later in the day how that slid off. Now the top part there didn't so much because it really was still very, very, very cold. But that will usually war start warming up and it'll all slide off in one big huge dump here and fall down. But anyway, tomorrow's gonna be warmer. So if it didn't fall off today, at least it will tomorrow. But at least we were still able to make some. And uh, I'm gonna check around the back here too. Just taking a few minutes when I was out here shoveling 
made a pretty big difference and tomorrow that'll probably all slide off and we'll have a huge day tomorrow all right there we go it's about nine o'clock in the morning on sunday it's warming up sun's coming out you can see here where some of this is sliding off probably in another hour or so that'll all slide off anyway and um pretty much going to be uh making some major production today you hear a lot of this is sliding down because this gets hit first so a lot of this is sliding off so it's really kind of cool so probably in about another hour this will all be off we'll make some serious production today so we've got some awesome sun coming up there but overall you can see where the roof is it just kind of sat on there because it wasn't wiped off so since we cleaned this off a little bit it's starting to heat up and uh really cool so even in the middle of uh february or march when it's like this if you just take the few minutes to wipe some of that off you can have some serious production so it's very 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 cool you can see the ones facing south here even though i hardly got any off of those they got hit so hard with the sun the rest of that will probably fall off here in about the next hour or so and just those three four panels there will make an unbelievable amount of energy because they face south on a day like today even though it's freezing cold out there's tons of sun tons of sun you can see it dripping there if i zoom in see that it's starting to heat up and it's dripping off there and that'll all just slide right off of there the only thing you have to be careful of is it doesn't land on your dachshund right lace <laughs> one time she was out here walking and it slid off and it scared the dickens out of her didn't it <laughs> don't let the snow fall on your wiener right lace <laughs> she's like this snow sucks <laughs>